welcome to or welcome back to Cooking with Pouncy. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and if you stumbled into it, thank you for stumbling onto it. Thank you again. Um, I'm going to do a um, egg and a muffin tin bake thing that I saw. I'll be doing a variation of that. Some of you guys have probably made this already. It's almost like a little mini souffle or whatever. But anyway, we're going to put that together for you today. And um, it's a breakfast item, I think, specifically. But it doesn't have to be. And we're actually going to have it for like an early supper. So bear with me, if you will, for just a moment. And uh, we're going to be putting this together. And I'll show you the ingredients. And we'll go from there. Here it is, kind of, sort of. I've got some onions here. I sort of finely diced them. That's a small onion. I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Again, this is a variation of a recipe that I saw. I think that they use green, uh, red peppers. Rather, I got sun-dried tomatoes, which I think will be just as good. Uh, and there's my sun-dried tomato little jar there. Um, I've got uh, some cheese that I'm going to put in here as well. I got a combination pepper jack and cheddar. I think it is here. Use it. You can use the cheese of your choice as well. I've got some uh, Jimmy Dean. This is that sausage roll. I, did, I couldn't find the individual patties, but I got the roll and I sliced them up is what you see here. I'll be taking that out of uh, covering off as I put it into the muffin tin, which is what I'm going to do here. But you guys will be seeing the whole process. I'm kind of excited about getting it going. And of course, eggs is a main ingredient as well. I've got uh, the eight eggs in here right now. My bowl is already broken. And I might need more if I do. I'll put another egg or two in there, but I, I wanted enough eggs to fill my containers here. I put a little salt and pepper in my egg, just like I'm going to be scrambling them, and you'll see me doing that. I'll use a little bit of this pan, no stick, the Pam, if you will, please, in the muffin tins as well. Keep the egg from stiffing, sticking, I hope. I'll be putting a few chives in there as well for color and a little bit of flavor as well along with that. So I think I'm going to stop rambling now, and we're going to start putting this together. All right, guys, here we go. So I got all my wrapping off on my sausage here. And what I'm going to do, obviously, is I'm going to line each one of these little muffin things here with my sausage. So it'll go in each one of them. will go in one here. And I'm going to kind of pat it down. You'll see me do that in just a second here as well. But again, this recipe looked pretty interesting to me. And I hope my, my little muffin cups are deep enough here. But we'll see what happens, guys. In any case, we're going to be eating it, okay? I, don't, I have more little cup holes than I do sausage, but that's okay, that's okay as well. All right, we're done with that part of it. All right. All right, again, I'm going to press it down. And I'm not trying to get air out of it. I'm just trying to press it down and compact it a little bit so I can get my egg and the rest of my stuff in here. All right. You guys know cooking with pounds. I like to be messing around with experimenting stuff. And you guys should do that too. It's fun. And the kids could help me with this too, guys. This is kind of cool. All right. Do you see that part of it? All right. I'm going to take my egg mixture here, guys. And I think I'm going to... Seasoned. I think I told you that. So I'm going to do that. A little black pepper. Just like you're going to make scrambled eggs. And I do season my, season my eggs before I... I uh, and not too much salt, guys. That sausage has got salt in it too. Okay, so watch your soda. Now I'm going to mix this up. That's what I'll do here. Just like I'm going to scramble them. All right. All right, let's see what happens here, guys. All right. All right. A little bit in each one. Not too much, all right? I'm going to do that first and come back if I need to, but I think I should be okay here. I don't want to overfill them and have it running over. You shouldn't want to run it all over either, because that'll make a mess, I think, huh? Yeah, so the guy I saw making it on the... On the Video I saw it ran them all over. I'm gonna run them over. I'm gonna leave well enough alone. So far, so good, huh, guys? So far, so good. Some of you guys have made these already, perhaps, and if you did, I hope this is kind of sort of different so you can have a different uh, method of doing it. So, it's all gonna be good, guys. I'm going to go back just a little bit on this one there or wherever I see sausage, okay? Being careful here as much as I can. I'm going to have these in a 400 degree oven as well, guys. And I think I'll shoot for uh, maybe 15 minutes at first. 
think I do that. A little bit here. Eh, you know, I'm going to leave well enough alone right now, guys. Yep. Eh, well, you know, Ponzi. Look at what Ponzi is. Right there. There you are. Yeah. All right. Okay. Since uh, I'm ready to put the rest of my stuff on there, I don't think I'm, I'm going to contaminate anything else. I don't need to put another glove on. So here we go, guys. Some of those onions I got finely chopped. A little bit in each one will do. All right. I like cooking. It's fun, guys. I hope you guys think cooking is fun, too. Even funner, that's a new word when you get it on a table. All right. Mm-hmm. I wish I could say it's looking good, but it kind of is. Not good enough to eat yet, but looking good, all right? All right, there's my onions. And come with our sun-dried tomatoes. And we've got some chives here, too. I think I told you that. Let's put some sun-dried tomatoes in each one of those, too. Now it's starting to really look good. Got that contrasting color. Mm-hmm. Looking pretty good, guys. It is. You guys are probably wondering how cooking with pounds is being so precise here. I've got educated fingers with this cooking process, I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. All right. That's kind of going to be it for that part of it. I'm going to leave well enough alone again here, guys. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, let's go with our chives. I'm going to be doing that right here. Both chives on top. These are just uh, freeze-dried, if you will. I guess you could use fresh chives, I suppose. Or no chives. Okay. It's starting to come together, guys. Yeah, we'll take our cheese. We'll go from there with our cheese, all right? So what I think I'm going to do here, too, guys, because I think i got a little bit... I don't want to put my hands in that cheese, cheese that I'm not going to use. I'm going to get some of that out of here. Because I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to use all of that. But I will be using all of this, and I won't be using it in anything else because I'm touching everything with this right hand here, okay? All right. I think the kids would like to do this, too. This is kind of fun. I'm having fun just putting it together here. All right, and once again, I said I'm going to put it in the oven at 400. I'm going to give it about 15 minutes, maybe. Take a look at it. And the sausage and egg should be done. And we'll see where we go from there, guys. We'll be having a, maybe a croissant on the uh, side of this thing on a plate. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe some fresh fruit. Some strawberries, some blackberries, some blueberries. It's looking good, guys. All right. There you go. I think I've got all my stuff on there now, guys. We're ready to put this in the oven at 400 degrees, as I indicated. And I'll be back. Look at, look at how Ponce Consulting did that. Uh, cooking, with, cooking with Ponce, rather, did uh, measure his cheese. It's, it's, it's good, isn't it? All right. You'll be seeing this again in a little bit. I'm going to put it in the oven. All right, guys. Got my timer already here. I think I got my timer set for actually 19 minutes. I'm going to be looking at it in about 15. So I'll see you in about 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes actually, and I think these are ready. I just tempted them, and I tempted them at about 170. Oh, they're beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. All right. They look nicer than the ones I saw when I got the idea for the recipe. All right, this is very hot, guys, so that's why I'm acting silly here. That's what they look like, all right, as they come out of the oven here. Wow, they look good. They smell good, too, guys. I'm anxious to get them all plated up, and then we'll do a plate presentation for you. And so I'll be right back. And again, that was 15 minutes at 400 degrees, and uh, I think they're perfect. Okay, all right, guys, so plates are a little bit warm here. I stuck them in the oven to get some of that residual heat to heat the plates, but it looks really, really good. I got some uh, grapes and strawberries on here. You can certainly do fruit or no fruit on yours if you'd like. And the other one looks about the same as well, guys. Very nice presentation. So, guys, thank you once again for tuning into my channel. And if you stumble there, stumble back, if you would, please. I'd certainly like that. Give me a thumbs up, if you would, please. Let me know what you think as well and pass this on as you see fit. We'll certainly see you again in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.